What's going on, Geminites? Gem Mint here. We're here with the second half of my new comic book day reviews. You guys may have seen the first video where I did the DC books. There was a slight delay uh, on my shop's order, so I didn't get the image or Marvel books until now. But we're going to jump into a non-spoiler review. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. We are doing a giveaway for this Batman Killing Joke CGC 9.8 once we hit 110,000 subscribers. Stay tuned to the end of the video, and I'll tell you what you got to do to enter. So let's jump into it. First up, we have from Image, crossover issue 3 by Donny Cates, Jeff Shaw, D. Kunifi, and John J. Hill. Man, Crossover has really started living up to its name. I really enjoyed this issue. Uh, we get a little bit more backstory on what happened with the big event where the comic book characters came to real life and started this big war, led to a bubble being thrown over the city so nobody could leave. And we get what happened to our main characters. How did they escape out of the bubble? And a huge cameo appearance here. Like I said, living up to its name. So crossover will be crossing over with comic book characters from other comics so uh, i was a bit surprised here i thought it was going to be spawn because of the variant cover that's out for this so you do kind of get spawn just in that cover alone but a, a, a nice cameo at the end here and i'm super excited to see what donny case is going to do continuing with crossover moving over to image skybound we got firepower issue seven this is by robert kirkman and chris samney really digging this book i think i gave this one of my top 10 reads for 2020 and what's funny is uh fee and i just powered through all three seasons of cobra kai uh we and i just finished it last night so i'm reading this today and i'm like man i'm getting cobra kai vibes here man owen is kind of like uh danny <laughs> larusso his karate past is coming back to haunt him the issue not much happened i mean they're just trying to lay low at the in-laws house while his old karate school <laughs> is looking for him. Uh, and some cool stuff here with Le Len, Wien Len Wien. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right. Uh, but kind of like how he avoided death and everything. So cool issue. I mean, I definitely dig the artwork here. And it's an interesting story. Cobra Kai vibes. All right. So now on to the Marvel stuff. Back to Donny Cates. We got Venom issue 32. King and Black tie-in. Amazing artwork here. We have Rex, uh, uh, which was what the Venom symbiote wearer from back in the Vietnam days. Here talking Eddie through his current turmoil. I don't want to say what happened because it's kind of a big spoiler, but dealing with the aftermath of what happened in the last issue of King and Black. Uh, these issues feel like they're kind of reading really fast, man. It just feels like, I don't know, really quick issues. Not that much happened. Just kind of following... Uh, where Eddie is and how he can get back into the fight. But amazing artwork here. The coloring on this book was incredible. Did I say who was on here? Uh, Coelho and Albertov. It was a good issue, though. Donny Cates again, man. It was the week of Cates. We got Thor issue 11 with Nick Klein and Matt Wilson. Man, Thor continues to be my favorite superhero book that's out on the shelves, man. I definitely love this issue. Thor is stuck in that pocket universe where Donald Blake used to go to when he would hit his uh, cane on the floor and switch places. Uh, so I, I like to see Thor trying to fight for his freedom there. Donald Blake running amok, having lunch with Jane Foster, kind of missing out on decades of things that have happened. It's funny how enraged he gets when Jane tells him that she used to be Thor. He was pissed. But uh, amazing artwork here, great storytelling, one of my favorite runs. Before we jump into the next book, you guys got to check out Street Level Hero. They have exclusive variant covers, and they do new drops every Tuesday and Thursday. If you use the code GEMMINT at checkout, you can save 10% off of any item on the store. That's even old stuff, new stuff, and you can use the code multiple times. It's not one time per use. They have a King and Black Gwena vs. Carnage 2 Mary Jane variant that looks amazing. They have a Carnageized one, and then they have a regular one that has a virgin and a trade dress. Uh, if you scroll down, you can see they have these Wolverine 9 variants, this X-Men 17 homage cover, and just a lot of great stuff. So check them out, Street Level Hero. All right, then we got issue one of the Eternals. I was really looking forward to this. I'm a sucker for Eternals. I mean, I read the Jack Kirby run. I love the lore, although I'm not really in love with, like, the actual characters too much. I kind of just like the lore. But you have uh, Kyrian Gillen writing this. Asad Ribic, who did Hickman's 2015 Secret Wars. So same type of vibe here. Great artwork. 
and Matthew Wilson. So this is an oversized issue that doesn't feel like a chore to read, doesn't have backups or tie-ins. It's just an oversized issue for this number one, kind of putting us in this universe of the Eternals uh, and their kind of resurrection protocol. We're following Icarus as the main character so far, and he just got brought back to life. He's the last one that died and the last one that's coming back. So kind of explaining the rules a little bit, um, really mapping out in Hickman style kind of where all the main uh, Eternals HQs are, where the Deviants are. We get a cool Deviant fight. I'm digging this, and, and I think it's also very smart to put out all these Eternals content because we got a big movie coming out soon, so fans want to brush up on Eternals. I feel like it's a good place to start. You don't really need to know prior knowledge of the Eternals, and I'm sure they're going to explain it a little bit more as this run continues. All right, here we got a King in Black tie-in, King of the Valkyries. So this is by Jason Aaron. I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. Gronbeck, Vacueva, and Bon Villain, who's doing a ton of lettering, I guess. So uh, I'm not picking up all the King in Black tie-ins, but I kind of wanted to grab this because it felt like it was going to be more of an essential tie-in to the story. And, and what this basically does is follow the sentry. Kind of a little bit of a spoiler here, but the Sentry, if you don't know by now, was killed by Null in King and Black issue one. So this is following him in the afterlife, and he is with the Valkyrie. So you're with Jane Foster as a Valkyrie, and you have a couple of others that I'm not really familiar with. So, I don't know, it's like the beginning and the end kind of tied in with King and Black, and then the middle was the Valkyrie stuff that I was a little bit lost. But it was a pretty good issue. It wasn't like Namor won King and Black tie, and I thought, you know, it was worth the read. It was okay. All right, then we have Amazing Spider-Man 56. This is by Nick Spencer, Mark Bagley on the pencils, Dell Hennessy, and Rosenberg. So this is uh, Last Remains Postmortem Part 1. So Last Remains isn't really over. The epilogue is as important to the main story, in my opinion, because the main story didn't really have an ending. So this is all about Kindred being captured by Norman Osborn and Kingpin, and basically Norman, he got his evilness taken out of him by Sin Eater during that Sin Eater arc. And although everybody seems to get their evilness back or their powers back, plus some, he's the only one that hasn't. So he thinks that there's some kind of reason that he's supposed to help Kindred. And it was an okay issue. I mean, not much happened, really little to no Spider-Man. He just pops in on the last panel like, what the hell are you doing? Uh, and that's about it. But it was okay. I think it's a worthy successor to the uh, Last Remain storyline. And lastly, we have Hellions Issue 8 by Wells, Segovia, and Curel. So the only kind of Reign of X, Krakoa mutant title that I have this week. And I thought it was just okay, man. They bring back Cameron Hodge, who you might remember from the, uh, what is it, the not, eight, late 80s, early 90s Chris Claremont run. So they bring him back. That's kind of like a two-issue arc, and it seems to be over now. But um, it has some good action scenes in it. You have uh, the nanny with Wild Child trying to get back to their ship and, and all this kind of robot stuff it was okay i mean it was a little bit boring but it had great artwork good action scenes some funny banter so overall just okay so what's the pick of the week guys that's hard to say right this was a great week for comic books man not only did we have the end of death metal we had kind of that leading into this generation shattered leading into future state which i was pleasantly surprised by uh, i did like the next batman the main story i liked swamp thing wonder woman i liked harley uh, man, I, I enjoyed the Eternals. I really enjoyed Venom. But uh, if I'm talking pick of the week stuff, man, call it bias. Call it just my personal favorite. But I'm going to give it to Thor as pick of the week. Look at that cover, first of all. Love the artwork here. It's so big and explosive. It's like, I don't know, the panels are just so big. And you'll have like these small characters like Thor will be this big. And it'll show him in this world that he's trapped in. I don't know. I'm just really digging it. I love the story. Artwork is great. And, man, a lot of great reads this week. Let me know what your pick of the week was in the comments down below. Like I said, subscribe to the channel. We're giving away this Batman Killing Joke 9.8 once we hit 110,000 subscribers. All you have to do is be subscribed and comment on this video and any other video where I promoted the giveaway because once we hit the milestone, I'll pick a random video where I promoted it and we'll use a random YouTube comment generator to pick a worldwide winner. I appreciate you guys watching. Check out my other new comic book day reviews and stay minty fresh. Peace.